everyone. This is Brad Johnson, reporter with the Texan News. I've got Railroad Commission Chairman Wayne Christian here with me. Wayne, how's it going? Honored to be with you, my friend. Thank you for the work that you do, and God bless America and Texas. Yeah, thanks for thanks for coming by. We're excited to have you. Um, first, let's talk about Texas oil and gas. Railroad Commission, as you mentioned in your speech earlier, has nothing to do with the railroads. Right. Um, but it regulates oil and gas in Texas. What is, in relation to everything going on internationally and nationally, what is Texas's oil and gas production role, and what do you see coming in the future? Right now, Texas is the hope for the free world because of our oil and gas. If we were a nation, we would be number three in the world currently in oil and gas production. Pre-COVID, we were about 40% of national, national production. Mm -hmm. If today it were taking national production in America, we're 60%. Mm -hmm. I'm getting calls at the commission that we, because we have the only open LNG ports along the Gulf of Mexico. We have more of them in Lake Charles, Louisiana and through the Gulf of Mexico through Texas. We are the only hope now for Europe to get a loose from Putin's hold with that natural gas pipeline that Joe Biden had him to build that Donald Trump killed. So all this is turning to the point that people's eyes are on Texas. I'm getting calls from Florida near Merlago that's saying Texas is the only hope we have to bail out the rest of the world. If it weren't for the decision we made in Texas several years back to not limit the production of oil and gas in Texas at the Railroad Commission, we made that decision. Proration. Right? Proration. Yep. It was a proration issue. And we were being forced. I had companies telling us we were going to destroy the oil and gas industry. We had a ten and a half hour Zoom conference on that issue. I think there were several hundred countries, 49 states. We had, uh, I think, 100 plus people testifying. And we were told we were going to completely destroy the oil and gas industry if we did not prorate. And I looked around. I said, hey, we're conservatives. And I remember what Connie and the rest of us have been working for for decades. And that's the free market always does a better job than big brother government. So we made a decision not to prorate. Immediately, the price of West Texas Intermediate went from a negative number to positive and has gone up since. So the, the idea of big brother government is the enemy in America today. And it's the enemy that, that our dear president, who is not as cognitively impaired as people put him out to be. Because if he only comes to once a month and see what he's done to our country in a year and a half, he is an evil tyrant. And it's just he is an enemy to free market in a lot of different directions. But stopping oil and gas is his his current mission. Quickly, what's the role of the commission in this? And what you know, how do you get more uh, incentivize more production to come out? Well, we take rules and regulation down, okay. move big brother government away. We we literally go in and rein in the bad guys or bad actors, which are very small, very minute. We also fight the media. We fight these people that say, oh, we're, we're tarnishing the entire world. One example was flaring. You've heard in the media flaring. Yep. They shut down Mr. Peter, uh, Larry Fink of BlackRock Financial. Their efforts at ESG, Environmental, Social, and Governance Funds, have closed 90% of the funding from Wall Street the last five years. We're getting only 10% of the money to go in and expand oil and gas. So that shut us down. Biden administration has shut down oil and gas production. So I feel our job at the Railroad Commission is to get the truth out there. Dirty oil and gas. Do you know the Railroad Commission of Texas this year alone has received four environmental awards nationally, okay. state, from our universities. We in Texas, when they go back in this whole Green New Deal, this whole slant on American oil, gas, and coal, fossil fuels is dirty and destroying the environment, is the biggest scam and hoax in the history of the United States of the world. And if you start looking at the science, the last 50 years, ever ever poisonous gas by EPA, with the increased doubling of use of machinery, tripling the population over the last 50 years, 77% decrease in every poisonous gas they have. Let me give you, you were mentioning earlier about what we do as a railroad commission. Okay, they were saying we were destroying the world, the atmosphere with flaring gases. It was on television everywhere. Wall Street was shutting off funding to Texas. France stopped buying LNG because flaring was destroying the environment. Flaring two and a half years ago, pre-COVID, was 2.7% of all natural gas in the state of Texas being produced was being flared. It reduced during COVID to 1.8% just because of lack of use. Mm -hmm. Then after the storm, first January of last year, flaring in Texas as a percentage of all the oil and gas produced was 7 tenths of 1%. Mid-years, half a percent. Currently, less than 2 tenths of 1% of natural gas is being flared. Yet the scam of the greenies, the lies of the media, the eyes of all these organizations are saying flaring is destroying the atmosphere and they've shut down again 90% of dollars. So that's how we're being beat up, is by these financial corps and this lie of the Green New Deal. 
Last one for you real quick. you got a race in November against Democrat Luke Warford uh, in 2020. Uh, Michael Bloomberg put in $2.7 million to that Democrat's race uh, and failed. What's in store for November for you? I, I hope that we win, but uh, there's only two ways you run a race that's scared or unopposed, and I am currently opposed. And to, to sit back and think, well, because of Joe Biden and the, the destruction he's done to our society in this last year, it's going to be safe, I think is a very fraudulent place to be. Right now, you mentioned Bloomberg put in $2.7 in the last Railroad Commission race. They now have organized what they call this dark money organization. It's got a commission shift, I think is the name of it. And these these Bloombergs, uh, Soroses, others can now attack with dark money. Nobody will know where the money's coming from. And this organization can do press releases, all this other campaign against us in much more money than that. So I do not take this as an easy ride. I think uh, the Good Lord gave Texas the largest amount of oil and gas in the history of the world is sitting in West Texas. And we are stewards of that. And we have got to make sure and make people understand we are the cleanest industrial environment on planet Earth. And in this campaign, my job is to stay in a position that I can fight it. I'm glad that I wrote for the Interstate Oil and Gas Compact Commission, where I was elected the chairman, first vice chair, a couple years ago. I authored 60% of all the resolutions against the Green New Deal, ESG, and other things. I want to keep fighting. And so that's where I need people's help, and I think Texas need to remain Texas. Well, Texas, in Texas, this is one of the most important races. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it shakes out. Chairman, thank you for joining us today, and good luck the rest of the way. Honored to be here. Thank you for the Thanks, work you sir. do. Appreciate it.